Hi, today you will see, how I created cellular automata in Unity, using a compute shader. First, create a compute shader. Then name it cellular automata shader. Open it. Create two variables, pre-result, and result. Pre-result is from the previous. Create another compute shader and name it set pre-texture shader. Do the same thing as in the previous shader. Then in the CS main function, write this. Create a C sharp script and name it shader controller. Open it. Write this to create two variables of type computer shader with names, cellular automata shader, and set pretexture shader. Also, create two variables with type render texture with the names, result and pre-result. To create render textures write this. They will now be 512 pixels wide and 512 pixels tall. Then set textures to compute shaders by writing this. I made a mistake. It has to be in the start function, but I will fix it later. I decided to update the texture whenever camera did dot so, I created the function on render image. Inside this function dispatch data from the compute shader by using the function dispatch. I still don't understand fully how it works. If you want to know more, watch this video. First you have to dispatch cellular automata shader then set pretexture shader. Then to see the result, use the function blit from graphics. Now work on cellular automata rules. Create a variable neighbors to count how many neighbors the cell has. In double cycle 4, check every neighbor's cell to see if they are alive. I use the color red from the pre-result texture, to check if there is a live cell. After it counts all alive neighbors, it writes rules in the form of cellular automata. If this cell is alive, from pre-result texture, then if it has two or three neighbors, it stays alive.
To make it easier to understand, I created the variable bool is a lift. If this cell is dead end, if it has three neighbors, then it stays alive. If variable is a lift is true, the result texture by this coordinate is white, otherwise, it is black. Let's try it in the Unity engine. First, add the shader controller component to the main camera and set shaders in this component correctly. The cellular automata shader is cellular automata shader. The set pretexture shader is set pretexture shader. As you can see, the screen is black. To show you that it works, let's create a shader that will create alive or dead cells by using the mouse. Create another compute shader and name it paint shader. In this shader create variables. Bool is alive, shows the type of brush, that will paint an alive or dead cell. Bool is paint, shows if it can paint or not. Float brush POSX and float brush PASI show mouse position. Float radius, shows brush radius. Then in function CS main, check, if it can then paint all pixels in that brush position and in a radius around this brush position. If the brush type is is alive, then paint all these pixels white. If not, paint them black. Open the shaders controller script. Add a new variable compute shader paint shader. Also add all the other variables, bool is paint, is alive, brush posx, brush posy, and radius. Then set all these variables to the shader. In function on render image, write this to dispatch result from paint shader. Also, before dispatching, set all variables again, except for the texture. Write this in the function update to check when to paint and how to change the brush type.
error was in the spelling of radius. I commented out all of the scripts in the paint shader to figure out where the problem is. I found it and corrected it. Everything works. I forgot to mention that to make this world closed, without borders. Create a new variable in the shader cellular automata shader, map size. And in the function start set this as the set map size for this shader. I use texture width as it is the same as height. Change this line to this in the shader cellular automata shader. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to see more interesting content.